Hello everybody, welcome back to 2CCV. We have some uh, other updates for you guys uh, as I thought that I could actually just finish the night and take a break with my sore throat and all the coughing. More chaos happening in Britannia. Ladies and gentlemen, the threat of Islamism, the intimidation, the bullying and the takeover of our public institutions continue. Uh, we have another example uh, of uh, a local council, Chorley which is, uh, by the way, the Speaker of the House of Commons local area, Lindsay Hoyle, the same Lindsay Hoyle uh, who cancelled the vote on ceasefire last week because of the intimidation happening outside of Parliament. The Islamists decided to go to his area, specifically target the local councillors and, of course, the local residents who were also attending the council meeting to talk about the real issues happening in their local area. That's the whole point of local authority, to look after the local area. Trolley, not Gaza. But of course, there was the, this massive demand uh, from the Islamists uh, when it came to Lindsay Hoyle and of course his local council, Trolley. Uh, they wanted to push for a debate and a motion and a vote over Gaza from Trolley to Gaza. Prioritise Gaza over Chorley. Same problem we're having tomorrow with the by-election in Rochdale. We have candidates like, of course, George Galloway and Azhar Ali, who are standing on a platform of Gaza first, or Palestine first, as they call it, then Rochdale. So, what happened was, during the council meeting in Chorley, uh, where local councillors were uh, talking about the real local issues and the local residents were attending uh, to ensure that, uh, they, you know, they, of course, they cooperate with the councillors to sort out the, the problems in the area. Um, we had initially a woman standing up uh, to make a speech, a rant, uh, to push for a motion to vote for ceasefire. Yeah, because if Chorley votes for ceasefire, local council... Uh, Benjamin Netanyahu and his government will absolutely surrender. They are, they are completely waiting to see how many local authorities in the UK and across the Western world will vote for ceasefire and then the Israeli government will probably consider surrender, right? I think that's what they're waiting for because Israel, the Israeli government really care about the local authorities in Britain and how they vote on ceasefire. So, I'm going to show you this video. It gets absolutely ridiculous, by the way, because... <laughs> It, the idiocy of these Islamists and, of course, the self-entitlement that they have when they go to these areas. Watch this. As she's still continuing her rant, we have one of the, I believe, another local councillor. There's, there's another woman at the, across the room who just goes, la, 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 don't want to hear you. <laughs> and then things escalated. We had a, we had a conservative, local conservative councillor who had enough eventually. And decided to push back. Then it got ugly and the police got involved. Watch this. Today we are now experiencing those people staying silent in the face of historic atrocities. We ask everybody in this room with a conscience in the Labour group stand up and put forward a motion for a ceasefire in an extraordinary council meeting. Free, free Palestine! 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 Why has no motion been put to this chamber? We were told that we, if they would be happy, the Labour group would be happy to put a motion to this chamber. Why has that not happened? Because it's surely not bloody Gaza! Get Oh, 
Oh dear. Oh. <laughs> what? What? Oh. Okay. So that happened. Now, a few things to consider in reaction to what we just witnessed. First things first. <laughs> I do love the initial reaction from, uh, I think, uh, one of the counselors, the woman on the other side, um, who was uh, saying, nah, 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 nah. But then we had the, the conservative. A counselor who I believe, if I, yes, a Craig Southern. A Craig Southern was the guy who eventually, he was very patient, he was just waiting. And then when she was like, Why are we not doing a motion? The idiots were saying on a <laughs> ceasefire. The, the, the Tory counselor just said, Because this is Chorley, not bloody Gaza. <laughs> and then tried to kick him out. And then, of course, oh, he, he touched. A, a, a female Muslim, you do not touch women, apparently, unless, dot, 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 you know that. And so they, one of the men on behalf of that woman is like, whoa, 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 how dare you touch this woman? And then absolute chaos, mayhem. And um, yeah, this is, <laughs> this is what we're dealing with now. It's just too ludicrous. It's also dangerous. It's, it's ridiculous. We, we laugh, but this is not in a lighthearted way to say, there are no problems. There's an actual crisis right now going on. And it's happening here now. And those watching right now, from, for example, if you're watching from Texas and you think it's not going to, you're fine over there, one day you could get there. It's, it's, it's happening everywhere now. So nobody is safe anywhere. Now, the police got involved. Obviously, Chorley is part of Lancashire. Lancashire police got involved. What do you think happened? <laughs> Lancashire police said, we have received a complaint of an assault at an event in Chorley, and an investigation is underway. No arrests have been made at this stage, and inquiries are ongoing. I do love how the police uh, are just simply waiting to see if anybody complains about anything. Instead of actually, you, you already had police officers present, right? The police could have just removed those guys who were disrupting the whole council meeting. There were local residents over there. There were local councillors, elected councillors who are also local residents, by the way. They're also people uh, living in the area. Feeling intimidated and being bullied. The police were there. They didn't do anything about that. But they went back to this um, the, the, the police station, waited for the Islamists to complain about the Tory councillor who shouted and tried to push um, the Islamists out of the room when he said that this is surely not bloody Gaza, which is a good point, by the way. Now they want to do an investigation into him. I mean, <laughs> the, the whole thing is ludicrous. Um, you could have just removed them in the first place to avoid any sort of escalation. Why are people surprised that escalations are happening? So nobody is condoning um, physical violence or anything like that. Firstly, there's a degree in terms of actual physical, anything physical, because if someone's pushing you out of the room compared to someone actually coming for you, it's a very, very different thing. But of course, uh, they want to use our rules and laws against us because they have a tiny, tiny poke. Oh, that's it now. This is assault. It's uh, for those who are familiar. It's like Bruno Fernandes at Man United. You, you, <laughs> you run near him. He just dives <laughs> for no reason. Um, or by almost most footballers these days, really. Most football players just dive every two seconds. Islamists on the far left are like Bruno Fernandes of Man United. Uh, they just dive every two seconds. Um, but again, they themselves target people physically. Apparently, that's fine. My point is, anything physical, any, any direct action is bad. We, we are supposed to be civilized. But don't be surprised if people of this country and across the Western European countries and in, in, anywhere else, Canada and US, Australia, wherever, decide to say enough is enough. The police are not protecting us. The political establishment are doing this to us and they're going to rise up. I'm not advocating for this. I'm just saying don't be surprised if people are fed up and one day say we will defend ourselves. 
Now, as I said, do you really think that the Israeli government are sitting there waiting for the trolley local council in Lindsay Hoyle's area to decide whether they're going to call for a motion of ceasefire? Do you think the IDF are going to say, we are surrendering now? We had a local parish council somewhere in the middle of nowhere, <laughs> or trolley council in this case, uh, voting for ceasefire. Th this is complete idiocy. This is also why, um, as, an, as an ideology, but also in terms of methods, the far left and Islamism go hand in hand, not just in terms of what they want, world dominance, but also they use virtue signaling. Uh, we used to make fun of virtue signaling, say, ha, ah, this person just wants to say something like, oh, I'm so virtuous. They now use virtue signaling to get to their aim. They use it as a weapon to get to you. It's no longer just about symbolism. Free, free palace. <laughs> If you join, joined us late in the live stream, don't worry, I'll, I'll go back to the clip, uh, the clash at uh, this local council. It's, it's, I don't even know how we've got to this point now. Um, Michael is right. Michael O'Connor says, uh, show weakness and this is what you get. Islamists run right. Yes, absolutely. Lady Yorkshire uh, says uh, it's all about blatant intimidation. But again, as I said, if you even try to poke They'll dive and uh, cry for help. Bobby says, um, I pass a motion for Palestine every time I go to the toilet. <laughs> bad, Bobby. Bad. Very naughty. Love it. Um, <laughs> Mark says, sad fact. I think it's too late. Our country has fallen to the lefty fairies. But it, obviously, as we say, if, if the country has fallen... You get up and you take it back, even if it's lost. Uh, giving up is not an option. Uh, another comment says that they are so not integrated. They have no idea about politics, only their own. That They have no respect for the rule of law. Whether it's the communists, the Marxists, who are completely against democracy anyway, and the militants, whether it's the Islamists, all these, they have no respect, but they will use it. In the meantime, use the system against you. And that, that is the fascinating part. The communists, uh, the, the actual Puritan communists, who, who ideally would like to have their own utopia, know that the only way they could get there is to have a centralized dictatorial system. Because how are you going to force humans not to be greedy, not to be selfish, not to just look after their own family? How are you going to force humans to share everything, as, as the communists say, claim? You're going to have to put a gun to their heads. In the meantime... They are changing their tactics. Over the last few decades, they no longer call themselves Marxists. They say, well, we were just social democrats. Oh yeah, it sounds nicer. Social democracy. They're still socialists, but they're using the system to get elected, which by the way, it's fine because it's democracy, right? But they have no respect for the system. And ideally, if they have any opportunity, they will even abolish it once they are in power. The same applies to all these groups who are trying to set up Islamic parties, the Islamic Party of Britain, the Islamic Party of this, or whatever they call it, or George Galloway with respect. They are currently exercising in democratic process, but are they? When they are having debates and hustings in Rochdale and ban certain candidates like uh, uh, Simon Danzig from Reform UK, when they go and intimidate uh, local voters to force them to vote for a certain candidate. They've done this at Tower Hamlet. They've done this in, in Peterborough when they cheat in elections with postal voting. Again, in Peterborough, in Tower Hamlet, in many other areas. When they come out and pretend that they want to be democratic, they want to get the, the vote, they want to become an MP and councillor. And then once they are in power, they will change our constitution, they will change our parliament, they will change our system. And then we're going to say, well, it was democratic, wasn't it? And right now, we have good people of Britain, especially the middle classes. They're too busy with everything else and materialistic stuff and not many people are having babies anymore. Guess who is having babies? Other communities are having babies. At a much faster rate than the, the natives and anybody else. What we will call English British people or Welsh British or Scottish British, Irish British, anything you want to call it. The white Western Europeans are losing... And it's not just about them, it's about anybody else who's in the system, in our societies, who, who are behaving like a British person, who are behaving like a French person in France. Everybody's too busy. 
The divorce rates are going up. Not many young people are even getting married anymore. They don't have babies anymore. There is no respect for the community spirit or family values or anything like that. But there are other communities that have discipline in the name of their own religion or political ideologies. They're having a lot of babies. They are getting married. Even if you don't want to, you will get married by force. Uh, Aliyah says a waste of time. Israelis are laughing now. Exactly. It's not like they're going to sit there and wait for some sort of motion of <laughs> ceasefire. Uh, first stupid shout of the, the live stream. Thank you very much. Uh, they all need to eat more fruit and veg. Absolutely. <laughs> Stop this. Stop the fruit and veg <laughs> narrative. I'm not doing it. Um, Klaus Anal Schwab. Why? Why did I just read that name? Okay. Start having families to save your country and your home. In the meantime, I'm, I'm clapping, but I'm still single. So if anybody wants to marry me, call me or send me an email in the description. I'll have babies. <laughs> I'm just too busy to even go out. <laughs> so yeah, if you want to be my wife, let me know in the comment section. Um, or yeah, comment section or in my email. You think I'm joking? <laughs> I agree with this comment. Class anal. Um, it's not just Israel. Double J says the whole world is laughing. Absolutely spot on. <clears throat> oh no. There we go. We got the comments already started. All I need to say is nine years old. Yep, you all know what that refers to. Aisha. Not again. Um, Empire of Noise, Noise says. What happens when there is too many not working and not enough people working and paying tax? They have a plan already. Uh, the idea is uh, that the socialist idea, social democracy, by the way, of a universal basic income. Now, you're going to need people to pay tax in order to give free money to everybody. But they're going to find a way. Of course, they're going to find a way to do this. You're going to be content, but you won't own anything anyway. So you, you, you won't have to worry about assets because the government will own, own all the assets, all the land. And everybody will be equally poor, but not too poor. So universal basic income will turn into universal credit, essentially. Everybody will just receive a payment and the robots and the AI will do all the other work. And that's when humanity will be in a lot of trouble. We have the first proposal of the night. Nicola says, I'll marry you. Well, send me an email. <laughs> oh, no, it's happening. Uh, another one. Hi, beautiful. What did I do? Oh, no. <laughs> what have I done, guys? Anyway, Lady Yorkshire is laughing. Yeah, that's, that's the best we could do. We got more people laughing at me. Brilliant. Yeah, laugh at the single guy. That's funny. <laughs> I'm kidding. <laughs> anyway. <clears throat> it's please, uh, where are the girls at? <laughs> We need some more girls in here. Um, Mama Bear Blue says, me, me, me. Brilliant. Uh, Tina says, EDL. Yes, great idea. <laughs> Bring back the EDL. <laughs> I do not advocate for anything violent, by the way, in case somebody is going to complain to the Met Police again for me making jokes. Oh, dear. <clears throat> uh, George O'Brien says, George Galloway is a traitor. Yes, some Georges are good, like George O'Brien. And other Georges are bad, like George Galloway. Um, if I was 20 years younger. <laughs> I do not believe in ageism, let's just say. <laughs> also, how, do you, how old do you think I am? I think some people still think I'm in my 20s or something like that. Or like 30 maybe. Nope, I'm getting old. The grey hair is coming. Not really. I'm, I'm, I'm very fortunate that both uh, genetically, both my mother's side and dad's side... Not only they don't lose hair, I know, but also both mom and dad only got first started getting grey hair towards like late 40s. So I've got some time, guys. I'm selling myself, yeah. <laughs> the Rose Petal says that you're hot. All right, okay. Moving on from the the, the dating reality show of Maya TC. Um, those of you joined us late, let's quickly go back to this ridiculous video of Islamists taking over the local council chamber in Chorley uh, where Lindsay Hoyle is obviously from. And uh, then things got ugly when a local Tory candidate, the Conservative councillor, started shouting back at them saying, 
we're not doing a cease, ceasefire vote because this is Chorley, not bloody Gaza. Then he pushed them out and then chaos happened. Today we are now experiencing those people staying silent in the face of historic atrocities. We ask everybody in this room with a conscience in the Labour group stand up and put and forward a motion for a ceasefire in an extraordinary council Free free Palestine! 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 Why has no motion been put to this chamber? We were told that we if they would be happy, the Labour group would be happy to put a motion to this chamber. Why has that not happened? So loud. Why are they always loud? Why can't you whisper it? Free Palestine. <laughs> oh dear. All right. So, <clears throat> what's going on? What are you guys talking about? Um, yeah, we had the first super chat. Second super chat, uh, Vamp Diva said, I'm single. There we go. Here we go again, guys. Here we go. <laughs> MTY says, You started the hellfire of female pickup lines. Oh dear God, what did I do? Yep, I'll just read a couple of them, then we'll move on. <laughs> Victoria says, I want to marry you. Perfect. And another one, hashtag my wants a wife. Yes, exactly. You think I'm joking. Um, but no. Considering I don't have time to even go out anymore, I'm going to have to use the subscribers of the channel to marry. <laughs> we can at least go on a date first. Anyway, Cora says, uh, you're cute. Good. <laughs> I don't know why good, but all right. Uh, super chat time. Please study India UP chief minister. Uh, Yogi Aditya Nath, uh, he better knows how to tackle Islamists. Look into it, guys. And another super chat, Bitcoin may be the answer to everything. But with the world, the way it's going, with the uh, digital currencies, centralized digital currencies being the option now, um, the only thing that could fight, that could be, be the new cash. If they ever actually completely remove cash, the future cash in a digital way will be cryptocurrency, whether you like it or not. Um, anyway, all right, we have a lot of more comments about people wanting to marry me, so <laughs> not not going there now, not going there now. Send me an email, guys. Send me an email. Uh, anyway, what's this? Ben says, why do you give these nutters a voice? Let them go and crawl back under the stones that they come from. I'm assuming you're talking about the Islamists, not the women who want to marry me, but uh, <laughs> I'll always give them a voice. But because we have to talk about it. While they are ridiculous, it's not really about giving them a platform. It's about the fact that people need to be aware about what's going on. There are still people living in certain places, sometimes even in London, in their own bubble, watching BBC News and listening to Radio 4 like idiots and LBC and think that the whole country is absolutely perfect. We have to make these videos, we have to continue to show these people every single time there's an incident that people's safety is at risk, democracy is at risk, freedom, free speech, human rights, everything that we have is at risk. That's why I talk about this. 
Casement says, uh, Bitcoin is huge at the moment and will rise much more. But we, we, the thing is, the Bitcoin will eventually become the martyr of uh, cryptocurrency on behalf of other cryptos um, in order to give a pathway essentially to other cryptos. Um, until that moment, we can't really have a sustainable option. Because right now, Bitcoin is basically just dominating. There are other, obviously, kind of cryptocurrencies that are also coming up, but they are acted as, they are treated as assets. People buy and trade them. Um, once we have, well, we're able to diversify our portfolio when it comes to cryptocurrencies, then you can actually start using them as actual currency when companies be forced to actually start using them as well. <clears throat> Your inbox is going to be stuffed. <laughs> <coughs> <coughs> oh, look what you did now. I'm going to cough again. Brilliant. Oh, by the way, we got the um, Rochdale by-election tomorrow. If I'm still alive uh, because of this cough, it might not be. Um, obviously, I will be doing a late night live stream. Now, those of you watching from the US and other places, you're going to love it because it's going to be perfect time early evening uh, if you're in the East Coast. But uh, yeah, I'm going to find a way. I might have to have some whiskey with me. Uh, we're going to start probably around midnight when they start the count, uh, it will be pretty quick. I think we'll know the result by one o'clock, maybe, maybe, yeah. It's, it's a by-election, obviously. Uh, well, yeah, we'll bring you guys uh, all the coverage from that as well. Um, what's going on here? <laughs> now it says, free, free, a Big Mac. <laughs> Ken says, I'm sorry, TC, you have come to settle in a country that's a fall apart well as i said before recently um i was speaking to my mother i was in my mother was saved by the british embassy uh, from iran she literally escaped she had to flee iran because of islamists that pushed pushed her out she is absolutely furious these days uh, when she's looking at the state of the country here she keeps telling me maya we ran away from those nutters now they're following us and she's absolutely right I can't disagree with what she says. And there are so many others, like my mother. Anyway. <clears throat> Crazy times. I'll take, you, I'll take you on a date to McDonald's and then Starbucks for a coffee. Um, yeah, that, that will trigger all the Islamists. They hate both Starbucks and McDonald's. That's probably a good idea. Well, yes, I'm around next week. <laughs> Yeah, somebody said, yeah, my, my inbox is going to be destroyed. Um, the thing is, it started as a joke, but I do have a feeling I'm going to get some emails. <laughs> Who needs Tinder when you have a YouTube channel? <laughs> anyway. <clears throat> yeah, let's not forget, the funniest part of tonight's live stream is not the proposals, is the comment. Because it's truly not bloody Gaza. <laughs> also, with the proper Lancashire accent, it's much better as well. Um, well, it's spot on. Why would you bother you waste taxpayers' money and time to debate on a motion that has no effect on you? These people didn't, they, they don't even know why it's called Palestine. They don't even know where the flag came from. They just say Palestine should be free. <laughs> uh, Mark is doing devil's advocate. Stay single, you will be far more wealthy and healthy. <laughs> Not sure about healthy with the way I'm eating these days. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Free Palestine is the new BLM. People are hysterical with anxiety, but they are too stupid and ignorant to see what's causing all of the chaos and fear. So they go mad about stupid, irrelevant things. This is actually, this comment wins the comment of the evening, ladies and gentlemen. Timothy, absolutely spot on. And the system is cre creating so much chaos. People are frustrated. People have no purpose. A lot of people, not everybody especially the younger generation, and they just completely take the anger out, out of all the, all the other nonsense. It's complete nonsense, but it's a good analysis. I absolutely agree with Timothy. Part of the reason is that, by the way, there's so much other uh, nonsense happening as well, including proactive brainwashing propaganda in our mosques and Islamic centers and schools. These days, schools. You don't even have to go to a mosque to get brainwashed. They are literally infiltrating the schools. And we've already exposed some of them over the last couple of days on this channel. Oh. I feel better now, by the way. My cold is getting better. This is water. It's not vodka, by the way. Or gin. 
Ah, lovely. I am so behind the live chat. I think there's also a couple of stupid chats I need to check out. What is going on? So many comments. So many marriage proposals. Um, I am so looking forward to checking my inbox later on. Uh, what do we have? We have a Peter Green super chat. Thank you, Mr. Green. Don't want to assume your gender, but I'm assuming you're Mr. Uh, they're calling for a free, free Palestine. The IDF are doing their best. <laughs> Amazing. Absolutely. Free Palestine from uh, Hamas <laughs> and the PA in general. Uh, Aaron, thank you for your super chat saying the US Army tried to develop gay love. <laughs> Let's not forget that the U.S. Army are also struggling, just like the U.K., to even uh, recruit people anymore. That's what they're opening up to uh, the woke side. Uh, oh, super sticker. Thank you so much uh, for another super sticker. <clears throat> oh, yeah, the throat is coming back. It's not good. I might have to take a break. I, also, I was supposed to finish the night. I finished the last live stream, so I'm going to bed. But I now saw this happening. I was like, well, we're going to have to talk about it now. In the words of Michael Corleone, just when I thought I was out, they pulled me back in. On that note, uh, thank you ladies and gentlemen and all the people in the middle with all the other pronouns uh, for joining tonight's live streams and all the other videos we've done. Uh, of course, go check out uh, the report we did from Wales earlier today from Cardiff, the farmers protest. That was very good, although very, very rainy uh, and very cold. Ooh. Um, and uh, thank you so much for all the marriage proposals. I'm looking forward to checking my inbox later on. I'm Maya Tusi, and we are the media.